I have a real soft spot for children that grow up in single parent households. Especially children that grew up without a father or a father figure in their life. The way that me and my siblings grew up. Because I know how, how it can feel. I know how it get. When you feel like you don't have that, that father figure to, to lean on. Your father is supposed to protect you. Your father is supposed to, to give you the, the comfort that a child is supposed to have in this world. Children are supposed to be children. They're supposed to be happy. They're supposed to have fun. But when you grow up in chaos, it's kind of hard to have that, you know? And because of what I do, because I've shared my story online numerous times, and um, I just put myself out to, you know, be a somewhat of a beacon of light when it comes to these type of issues because I've been through them, I get a, I get feedback from people. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people over the years where they, they're reaching out to me, men and women, by the way, about how to deal with, with a toxic ex that they have a child with. And, um, I've seen and heard all kinds of different stories. You know, I had a, a woman reach out to me saying that she's keeping her child away from her, her uh, baby daddy because he was in the streets and she don't want her child in those environments and stuff like that. So she just don't let the, the guy get his kid. And I'm thinking to myself, I can understand wanting to have your child in a safe environment I really can but I also see it like this too why would you deal with guys that's running the streets and have babies with them if you know the kind of environments that they're in because at the end of the day your child whether it's a boy or a girl don't care about the environment that their daddy is in all they know is they need daddy love and they love their daddy. So it's like, it's a, it's a terrible situation to be in. But the adults are the ones that cause these problems for these children. And it got to ask the question, why don't we think about our children more? Why don't we keep our kids in mind when we out here dating? Everybody that you're dating could be a potential baby mama or baby daddy. And it's serious. We can't be out here just slanging meat wherever we want to slang it at and not think about the consequences. You know? I got stories of men traveling to, to, to states away from their home, like going you know, on vacations or it's, it's for a job or whatever the case may be. And they'll meet a woman and have unprotected sex with this woman. And boom, now she pregnant and she decides she gonna keep it. Now there is a child that's miles away from his dad. How can a child grow up and have a stable environment in that situation. It's just, it's sad to see. And then there are so many relationships that when they end, they're real toxic. Everybody's emotional, you know, and their emotions run away with them. So now the mama and the daddy fighting at fighting each other and they're doing things to hurt each other. Many times that kid is stuck in the middle and they're trying to manage their adults emotions. They're trying to manage. I can't tell daddy certain things because daddy's gonna bring it up when he's arguing with mommy. 
I can't tell mommy certain things because mommy's gonna bring it up and throw it in daddy's face. Mommy questions me when I go visit my daddy about if there's other women around and I don't know what to say because if I say yeah, I get in trouble because mommy gets mad and, and she tells me I can't go to daddy's house anymore. If there's one thing that I could do, like if God gave me the ability to change one thing in relationships, it would be the ability. I would I would wave my magic wand and I would make everybody have the ability to manage their emotions better. Because the emotions is what cause a lot of these problems. Don't get me wrong. I understand sometimes we take a chance on people and they end up not being as compatible as we hoped. So relationships end. I'm not trying to shame nobody for a relationship ending, but what I am saying is that we got to be more emotionally intelligent and we got to keep what's important on the front of our mind. And most of the times we think that us getting what we want as the adult, as the parent, is what's important, but it's not. What's important is that child getting what he want, what that child, what that child, whether it's a he or a her, getting what she want or he want. That's what's important. Stop letting your egos cause emotional, generational damage. So many kids grow up and don't know what love is, don't know what a, a healthy relationship look like. And it's because of the adults that's in their lives. I got a text message from a guy this morning saying that the only way he feel like to get out of this situation is by evacuating his life. He don't know how to handle the pressure, the heat that this woman putting on him. It's really done got to the point where it's so toxic and, 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 and there's so much trauma in that relationship. It's almost like this man just need to walk away from his kid because it's getting to the point of like danger. It's getting to the point of police being called. Why does it have to get to this point? It's sad that we have so many women that will use a child as a pawn to hurt a man because they're not able to get what they want out of that man. that don't go for every woman like I said there's I've met a lot of women that won't even put their child daddy on child support and the dude ain't doing nothing for the child if anybody deserved to put a man on child support it's them but they won't do it so not all women are like this but there's a lot of women that just want to hurt the man that they got a kid with because for whatever reason that man didn't do what she wanted them to do we know that we know those types you know we know those types are around but it's just it's it's i don't know man it just got me frustrated this morning because like i said man I, I just my heart go out to this guy i don't really know you know like he definitely need to go to therapy he been in he been in therapy but he stopped going. I'm trying to get him to go back because he definitely needed. But I just want y'all to think about this. It's not about you. Hopefully you see this video <clears throat> before you have a kid. And you're able to choose uh, uh, the right person to get married to and have a kid with. You know, keep all of those important things in mind. A lot of people, like, once again, your emotions get the best of you. You, you meet a guy, he dress nice, he smell good, he, tr he show you a nice time, 
but you ignore the fact that this guy is one of the like morally he lied to people all the time he he he, he present an image that is really not him behind closed doors he's nasty to people he don't respect nobody and then when you break up that man is going he's the same way he was with everybody else with you now you stuck in a situation God forbid you got a child with this man because now you got to manage co-parenting with a guy like this. But once again, that child just loved his daddy. We got to be way more careful with bringing children into this world because these kids don't ask to be born. Us as adults, we make decisions. And even teens make decisions. And these decisions that we make have, like, huge repercussions. You know, people just making babies so willy-nilly. Like, that's why I, I hate what Nick Cannon doing. Because this man make it look like having a kid is like going to the store and picking up a purse. Or going to pick up a pair of shoes or something like that. He... He based how many kids he have on how much money he has. And these kids going to grow up and it's, gonna, it's not going to be good. Because kids need more than money. But I don't know. Let me go and cut this video off right here. I just wanted to share this with y'all. I hope it bless somebody. I hope it makes somebody wake up. I hope you get something from this video. I know this kind of like a rant this morning. It ain't really as focused as I would like, but I just had to get this off my chest this morning, man. But I'm going to cut this video off right here. I'll see you on the next one.